Hello everybody and welcome back to Soma. Um, things are starting to get real interesting in this game for sure. Um, we finally got to Theta. We opened the big giant door and we have the whole Theta facility to explore um, in this episode and maybe the next couple of episodes depending on how big it is. Um, turns out we have robots who believe they're in the Ark but they're just living on kind of injured in the ocean and delusional. Meanwhile, we learn that the actual humans who uploaded their minds into the Ark killed themselves afterwards because they didn't want two copies of themselves to live on and they wanted the robot to be the quote unquote real one. I don't think that's how the continuity of existence works though. Um, and uh, Catherine may be somehow mixed up in all of this. We need to have a serious chat with her. I'm guessing we're not going to have swipe control. Never mind. Alright, we got in. So we need to get a dive suit. Oh, this whole thing is airlocked. All right. Onwards. Do you think there's gonna be killer robots in here? Hello? Anyone there? Our I vision's gone all funny, funny, like we're injured. Like we're injured. Pathos 2, Theta. This place is remarkably more well maintained than all the other places we've been to. I'm not saying it is well maintained, I mean look at all that blood on the floor, but it's better than all the others. Okay, nothing up here. Dive suit, that's what we're looking for. The Theta Laboratory. All right, we'll keep we'll keep a mental note. If we find out we need to go to the laboratory, we need to get into those big doors. What's in here? This doesn't look good. Okay, maybe we can get in this way. All right, we learned that trick in episode one. We've got a flashlight. I'm not gonna forget I have a flashlight this time. Okay, we're gonna see what we can find in here. Anything in these lockers? Probably not, but always worth checking. Okay. Does that say wow? Uh oh. Okay, there is a Omni Tool terminal here. So that's probably what we need to do in this room. Yeah. So let's put Catherine in. Catherine, We're here. we need to chat. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a pro, fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Oh, damn it. 
I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? Ugh, it's, nothing works mm, in this game. It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, we need to get a security cipher. How come it's not letting us ask Catherine the question that I feel most players of this game really want to ask? What was up with we that robot outside? We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Just like avoiding the hard questions here. Site status. All systems are operational. The hull is intact. The armor is mostly intact. Life support. Is handled by WoW. The air is clean. It's a pleasant 13 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. All right. Map. Okay, this is gonna be useful. Maybe. I don't have a great memory and a great sense of navigation, so maybe this isn't gonna be that useful. I think this was the main room that we just came from. And I don't know why certain parts are grayed out. Now there's a whole bunch of black box beacons. Oh Looks my like gosh. Looks like your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Why does this look corrupted? And how do we know her friends moved downstairs? Okay, there's gonna be something bad for us in store. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Okay. Oh, there's lights. That's good to know. Some of these panels have lights attached to them. Okay. Where else can we go? Thanks, Catherine. Oh, this isn't creepy or anything. cleared out probably because there's something on this floor that's dangerous and we shouldn't be here either one of those creepy zombie things with the disco heads what's so interesting downstairs just labs and offices Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. I see the door there. I also see the darkness there, and I kind of rather not. I think this place. This place is gonna take us upstairs and not downstairs. Uh oh. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. I had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Jesus. I thought they were just uploading the mind into a computer, not necessarily into a living, functional robot. Connection error. Okay, error code. Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset the router in the sublevel vault to contact maintenance. Of course, on the sublevel. Alright, let's see what we can learn from here. 
Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Um, maybe Catherine, it is. What are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Sounds like Catherine really desperately wants to believe it's not her fault they're killing her themselves, but what other explanation would they have if they do this the ah, scan and they kill themselves? What? Check the terminal, I just want to make sure. Nan comp. The Nanami composition. Type compressed Nakajima neurograph. Are these all the people they scanned? Legacy scans. Oh, <gasps> Dr. Munshi, Jarrett, that's us. Okay, we're gonna click Jarrett first. We're a legacy Kath, scan. What is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munshi's templates. A legacy scan. What? So before they tested this on live people, they used existing brain scans? That that would be my guess. And our brain scan was one of the first, pioneered by Dr. Munshi. I really want to click this. I don't want to click it on us though. Let's click it on like Berg and see what happens. We're making no more robots. We're deleting these. You know what? I don't want any more Simon Jarrett robots either. Wait, do they all have audio recordings that I just missed? I hope they did. Okay, no, just Simon Jarrett had audio recordings. Let's listen to them. Post scan, May 2nd, 2015. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. So that was us, but it's not... not us. That was our real biological self. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Hmm, how did it work out? The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. Jesus, we gave him permission. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted.
Isn't hope good intrinsically? We're erasing this. No more. I guess Simon gave his permission, so we can't be like too upset about it, but He's dead, Kat. The real Simon is dead. Of course. And I'm a replica Just of that like scam. Once you years get ago. thinking he's Simon. What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. Interesting. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. What does it say? Simulation assets. Connection error. Unable to connect to the mainframe. So this is the same error on all the computers. We've got to implement things differently. Got a bunch of fancy blueprints. All right. See what the simulation asset does. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Ugh, in the sub basement. I don't want to go to the sub basement. The sub level. This is where I restore the arc scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter. If that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks. That makes wow. me feel much better. It's calling us flat. Damaged. Wow. Uh are all of these just damaged? Are there any, you know, surviving? Surviving tapes? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Looks like these are all toast. All right, downstairs we go. Jesus Christ. Let's mentally prepare ourselves. <clears throat> Everything moved downstairs. Why did they move downstairs? Elevator. Stop it. The last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. Keep my eyes open. Maybe those proxies are those things that we were encountering in the other station. Faceless. Seems to fit. They're blind. I did not know they were blind. Okay. Elevator. Seems broken. Bathroom. Probably nothing for us here in the bathroom. I wouldn't think the so. The legacy at least. scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. 
Okay. Bathrooms. I don't know why... I mean, I know why bathrooms exist. I guess... Oh my gosh. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. I was just about to say, I don't know why they put the bathroom in the game. Like, I know why bathroom... Every time I walk into this room, the lights, Jesus. So I saw the stairs going there are down. Simons or Catherine's running around out there. Now I am. Geez, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. What's in this hallway? Why are these things quarantined? Uh -huh. Why are these all locked up? These look like bedrooms? Okay, this guy's a little bit of an astronomy nerd. I approve. What's this? Man, I hope we don't need to memorize that. There's no way I'm remembering that. Okay, can't keep the tools with me. Can't touch the phone. Okay. Bedrooms. All locked. I wonder what the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human son. Going by your reactions, I'd say he'd be pretty upset. I mean, he gave permission. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Who was Catherine? Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. What's a little projector? Looks homemade. That's my attempt at building a vivarium. It's kind of a proto arc. I want to get all of the dialogue. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. <laughs> Catherine, sounds like you have something to hide. That makes me want to search even more. Ooh, I found your brush. I knew you had something suspicious in here. You have a lot of toys. Huh. Maybe we should move on. Catherine. We're in a rush. The world's been ended for decades now. Let me rifle through your, your belongings just a little bit longer. Sounds like you have something to hide. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... <sighs> yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Okay. Let's not touch her bra. She's probably not gonna like that too much. I'm not gonna read her books. Sounds boring. Come on! No need to go through all my stuff. Yeah! We found this thing. What is this? Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Okay, sorry, Catherine. We had to do it. Mark. That other robot mentioned Mark. She said, are you Mark? Might be worth exploring this place. Alright, let's see, what's the deal with Mark? Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by casing 
to live as your scan is being completed. Do not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salt into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announced completion, I will lie down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the something behind my death, the, the truth behind my death, no, no, something's no tragedy to mourn for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. So this guy was really done with his human life. He really just wanted to live virtually. What he doesn't realize is that he created a whole new being, a whole new conscious being inside the Ark that's not him anymore. It thinks it's Mark, but it's not Mark. The nature of identity. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. All right, let's see. This is classified. Miss Sarong, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate op any opposition, but please make any effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. So Mark created WoW. All right, don't know what that is. We're learning some important stuff here. Wow, went horribly wrong. UHS. Huh. Trying to probably understand all of the weird kind of corruption that happened with WoW. All right, let's get out of Mark's room. I don't like it here. Okay, we can go into Robin Bass and Martin Fisher. All right. A lot of stuff in this, and this is Robin Bass's. This is Robin, the robot outside. Jesus, I'm glad we didn't decide to end up pulling the plug. I don't think we have the heart to kill any robots. She's delusional, but what? Why is, why is there blood? Did she kill herself? Oh my gosh. Robin, what happened, Robin? She likes cats. She has a lot, of, maybe she has a kid or something. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarong and the continuity. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. She killed herself. And um, this doesn't look good. No light for this room. Is there anything in here? Just a place to heal. Nothing in the drawers. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here.
Oh my gosh. There's something in there. Let's get away from that. That must be the proxy. They're blind. Okay, we need to keep we need to keep that in mind. If we just stay absolutely still, they won't know we're there. So I believe that's where we came from. Okay, there's no going up. And there's no going down. What were we supposed to accomplish here then? Am I missing something? at the end of this hallway? A way to move forward? Maybe I need to break the glass with this um, fire hydrant. You know what? I'm gonna stay crouching. How can I get through this door? Okay, um, creepy monster in there, doesn't seem to be a way to open the door, and you know what, I don't even entirely mind. We're gonna have to go back, and we're gonna have to see if there's anywhere else for us to go in the data station. There was a map somewhere. Maybe we could take another look at that map. Elevator, not happening. Okay. I think we want both of these, bo both of these directions. Yeah, this is Catherine's lab. This was where she did. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't remember what this room is. Maybe I shouldn't be sprinting. We need to get to the lower level. So is there anywhere else we can go? She opened up this door for us. What about this door? Oh my gosh. I wish our flashlight was a little better. Oh my gosh. I don't want to go... S Stop it! You know, I thought we were going to have a couple of episodes where this didn't feel so much like a horror game, but I think good things can only last so long. Okay, which of these doors is the person banging at? Because I don't want to go in that door. Okay, dead end. This isn't creepy or anything. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's push on forward. What? Our vision's going blurry. Something's nearby and there's a living person. Please tell me this is the source of our blurry vision and not something else in the room with us. 
Oh my gosh. Why did we have to come in this room? Is there, is there anything to do? Except for just be creeped out? I don't think there's anything to do here. Move to the next. Oh my gosh. Whatever did that to her? Does not seem friendly. seem friendly. At least it's blind, so I don't need to feel bad about using a flashlight. Okay, coast seems to be clear. Is all this? What's with all the living people? I thought everyone died on this planet. Jesus. I think this is going to be a good stopping point for us. Um, I really don't want to find out what's over there. Do you... Do you see that? Okay. Um, let's end the episode someplace a little safer. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and please stay tuned for the next episode where we are going to continue exploring in here and try to stay away from whatever that was. Um, we need to get the computer systems back online so we can get the hell out of Dodge. Um, right. So I'll see you guys next time.